Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about abstract class or virtual class in System Vlog. So, System Vlog provides virtual classes which can be used for data abstraction. So, this abstract class or virtual class can be used for the data abstraction. Data abstraction means it provides only the essential information about the data. It will hide the background details or implementation of the data. It will provide only the essential information about the data outside the class scope. Okay, so outside the world. Abstract classes or virtual classes are classes that cannot be instantiated but can be used as a base class for other classes. This abstract class uh, we cannot directly instantiate like other normal class. It has to be derived okay it can be used as a base class for other class means it can be derived this class should be derived so we will discuss in detail okay uh, how to um, how to use this abstract class first I will tell what is the need of the abstract class why we need this abstract class these classes can define common behavior and interfaces for the subclasses but leave some details to be implemented by the subclasses so here in the abstract class we will define the common behavior so that multiple subclasses or derived classes can include those behavior common behavior okay so we will include the common behavior in the abstract class and we will implement that in the subclass and it will leave some details to be implemented by the subclasses for that we, we have a a method called pure virtual methods I will tell everything in detail first we will focus on the need of the abstract class okay abstract classes can provide a high level of abstraction and flexibility for the code so because of this this provides a high level of abstraction and flexibility for the code and abstract classes or virtual classes provide a way by which we can define the common layout on which other classes can be based on so we know that inside the abstract class we will write the common behavior right so common behavior is nothing but we will include the methods which we can implement it in the subclasses that means it provides a common layout on which other classes can be based on so because it will provide only the essential information about the data it will hide the implementation right that implementation will be we can see in the subclasses it will provide the layout the which other classes can be based on Abstract classes are used to limit the data so that all classes which are needed for a specific task can include those limited data and task. We know that this abstract class can be only derived, right? It can it cannot be instantiated directly, it can be derived. So all the derived classes which are needed for the specific task can include those limited data and task which is present in the abstract class. So now we will discuss everything in detail. An abstract class is also known as a virtual class. An abstract class cannot be instantiated directly it can only be derived here we cannot uh, directly allocate the memory for the abstract class like normal class it can only be derived so that for the derived handle we can allocate the memory this is how we have to access the abstract class uh, data okay an abstract class sets out the prototype for the subclasses prototype for the subclasses means this abstract class will let the subclasses know that what it has to include how the subclasses should be that thing will be provided by the abstract class it will provide the prototype okay an abstract class is an incomplete class that may contain method implementation or may contain only the prototype of methods without actual implementation and known as pure virtual methods what is this pure virtual methods pure, uh, when i say it may contain only the prototype of methods without actual implementation it is nothing but a pure virtual method pure virtual methods are the special kind of methods which can be used inside the abstract class or virtual class okay pure virtual methods we will use the keyword pure and virtual with the method name pure virtual method so this pure virtual method body needs to be defined by all the subclasses which is derived from the abstract class if you write the pure virtual method inside the abstract class that has to be defined by the all the subclasses which is derived from the abstract class okay here inside the virtual class we will declare the pure virtual method pure virtual we will use pure keyword pure virtual and the method name for example pure virtual function wide display semicolon that's all we will not going to uh, define the body body of the function that will be defined by the subclass or derived classes okay if it has uh, three subclasses or three derived classes that pure virtual method will be implemented by all these uh, child classes okay then why we need this pure virtual methods this is helpful this pure virtual method will be helpful when we know that we need a method for the certain task 
but the implementation may be different in other scenarios right that time we can use this pure virtual methods the methods will be used by all the child classes and the logic will be different in um, the particular child class okay you can write the different different logic in um, each subclasses so this is the use of pure virtual methods here we will use the keyword pure virtual if a subclass does not provide the implementation of the pure virtual function then there will be a compilation error if you declare the pure virtual method inside the virtual class and if you don't define the implementation inside the subclass then it will lead the compilation error you need to implement it in the subclass okay method type number of arguments and return type should be the same for the virtual methods in their derived classes so this is same as virtual methods we have uh, discussed in the last session right virtual methods so this is same method type number of arguments and return type should be same it is not mandatory to add methods in the abstract class so you don't have to include the methods okay there is this is not the mandatory if you need then you can implement or uh, declare the methods so this is the syntax to write the virtual class or abstract class here we have to use the keyword virtual with the class itself okay and we can insert the virtual methods and pure virtual method inside the virtual class and you can also declare the data int logic bit any type of data okay virtual methods also we can write if you are writing pure virtual methods the body of the method should not be defined okay it, it will be defined by the subclass when you derived pure virtual function wide display this is how we have to write the abstract class so this is my example here i don't have any virtual keyword with the class right so this is the normal class example here first i will run the code okay meanwhile i will explain so base trans has data and id and one display method to display the values of data id and inside the module i have instantiated the base trans right i'm allocating the memory and i'm using the value phi and one i'm getting the value phi and one this is normal class now i will use virtual keyword here virtual keyword i'm using now we know that a virtual class cannot be instantiated directly right see now i have instantiated directly you can see right same for normal class we used to do this same thing i have done with the a virtual class now what i'm getting instantiation of the object btr cannot be done because its type base trans is an abstract base class perhaps there is a derived class that should be used so it is telling that we have to use the subclass in order to avoid this error okay so I, what i will do i will use the i will derive this class i will derive the base trans class class subtrans extends base class and end class now instead of base trans what i will do i will do sub trans okay and here also i will do str and i will use this here now i have created the subclass i have derived this base trans this the name is subtrans and i am using the subtrans everywhere okay subtrans handle yes i am getting phi and 1 right so this is how we can use the virtual class this is the example uh, to show that virtual class cannot be instantiated directly now we will see the pure virtual methods pure virtual method means the body of the method will be implemented by the subclasses right we will declare only the pure virtual methods but in this example first i have not used any pure virtual keyword okay first i have normal method function wide display same example data id function wide display and inside the subtrans class i have a same method display here inside the module i am creating two uh, handles btr and str one base class one subclass and i am allocating the memory for subclass and i am assigning the subclass handle to the base class handle and i am allocating the value by using the child class that is nothing but subclass handle and i am calling the uh, method by using the parent class handle btr now this is same as a polymorphism but it is not a polymorphism because we don't have any virtual keyword here right 
if we have a virtual keyword then it will be a polymorphism concept here i don't have any virtual keyword so here i will get the base class method okay this method i will get base value of data 0 and 0 right because we have given the value by using child class handle not the base class handle because for base class and child class two different memory will be created because we have two different um, data and id data and id in both classes we have this data right so leave it now we will see pure virtual methods pure virtual method means what we have to declare the uh, name of the method inside the virtual class and we have to implement it in the subclass for that what i will do i will use the keyword pure virtual okay we know that when we write the pure virtual method we should not give the implementation in the virtual class but here i have an implementation right here first i will run the code pure virtual method means the body of the method will be defined by subclasses but here the body of the method is defined inside the virtual class only what we are getting we are getting the error right we are getting the error it is not showing what kind of error it just shows that syntax error now i will remove this okay now i commented it and the implementation is there inside the subclass now i will run the code i'm getting 5 and 1 now you can see that subclass is uh, we are getting the display method which is inside the child class this method we are getting because this is virtual also right this function is virtual now it is polymorphism concept virtual keyword we have used and pure virtual means we have to declare the method inside the virtual class and the child class the derived class should implement the body of this method if i have another subtrans okay here if, if you consider this is a subtrans 1 and another subclass i have subtrans 2 in that subtrans 2 class also i should implement the display method okay if you declare one pure virtual method inside the virtual class if this virtual class has n number of extend class now n number of derived class in all this derived class this method should be present otherwise you will get the compilation error okay so this gives the prototype for the subclasses so here also i have an example i will just show you okay this example i got somewhere so this vehicle example here i will just explain okay a uh, virtual class vehicle here i have a number of seat this is the properties of this virtual class and this is my function printf here i am printing all the uh, vehicle details okay and this is my pure virtual method pure virtual function wide change gear this is my pure virtual method if i have the derived classes in all the derived classes i should implement this method here you can see this is my one um, this is my one child class car is my car is the extended class of this vehicle okay and i have one more truck truck is the another derived class of vehicle and scooter is also one uh, extended class of vehicle here i have three child classes you can see in the first derived class same i have given the different names okay in the constructor i have given the different values but you can see this change gear method right this change gear method is common in all the child classes change gear right and here also you can see in the truck also change gear that means this this uh, virtual class will give the prototype for the subclasses this virtual method is present in all the derived classes and you can see that it has a different different logic based on its requirement here if you see if gear number is less than number of gears it will be incremented this gear number one variable is there that will be incremented and if you see the truck here if gear number is less than number of gears gear number will be incremented the display statement you can see gear changed max gear reached gear changed max gear reached this is okay this is fine for truck and um, car but if you see the scooter here you can see display oops no gear found in scooter there is no gear it is telling that in scooter no gear found right so the logic the 
uh, code what you will return inside the change gear that will be uh, based on the its requirement okay so this child class this um, based on their child class requirement it will implement its logic but the method will be provided for all the subclasses this virtual class will provide the prototype for the subclasses this here this pure virtual function wide change gear is the common behavior we have included the common behavior inside the virtual class so this common behavior will be used in all the derived classes all are using the same method but its logic is different that's all okay so i will give the code link you can check okay so this is all about virtual class thank you